Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. And today, I wanna talk about the flex fuel kits for your VR30, Q50, Q60. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. So welcome back, welcome back everybody. Before I get into it, I wanna do some housekeeping. If you are part of the Boost in Motion family and you always watch my videos, either every day or every two days or often enough, always remember to hit the like button, guys. Hitting the like button is one of the things that you can do for free that's gonna to continue to help your boy Boost and allow me to have more exposure to other people who may not have found Boost in Motion yet, all right? Anyways, let's jump into it. So I want to talk about the different kits of flex fuel that you can go with your Q50, Q60, VR30. For some people who are asking, what is a flex fuel kit? Like, what does that mean? Pretty much, um, a flex fuel kit it allows you to read the amount of ethanol content in your gasoline. Remember, if you have 91 to 93, or even 87 or 89, there's going to be up to 10% ethanol. Why is this important? Ethanol is—I don't want to say it's race gas, but when you run a higher a content of E85 to every gallon or to your tank of fuel, this allows your car to run cleaner. Also on top of that, if you're and or tuned on E85, you actually gain a bit more power than you usually would on 87 to 93 fuel because the octane level is usually higher, right? So a lot of people out in the race community like going with E85 because as the, high, as the E85 content increases from E30, 50, 70, etc., they can run more timing. The car actually runs a bit cooler and it's actually a bit cleaner, right? You do use more fuel though, but you need to know the amount of ethanol content that's in your tank because if the tuner is going to tune your car on E30, right? And you go to the, the, the uh, gasoline station and you put in and it goes up to E50, right? He, he tuned the car for E30. The car is not gonna run right on E50. So you need a flex fuel kit so you can know exactly right around the e, uh, ethanol content that you have in your tank, all right? Cool. Now, let's talk about the three different companies. I'm gonna just shoot them out right there. Once again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but I'm giving the information out there because some of you guys don't know where to go. Um, we're gonna talk about the start, the top, of the, the top of it, that's AMS Performance. They have their flex fuel kit and it works in collaboration with Ecutech. So pretty much uh, with their kit, um, when you pour in the, F, uh, the E85, let's say they tune you on E70, 50, 30. What this controller would do is it'll actually switch over to your tune for the specific ethanol content. So if they, if you go to a gas station that says E50, rather than having to go switch to the map or whatever, the car can actually just automatically switch over to the ethanol content of E30 or E50 or 70, right? Also on top of that, um, excuse me, also on top of that, it works with the Ecutech uh, app, so you can actually see everything right on your uh, Ecutech app or ECU Tech app and just know right around the ethanol content. So shout out to AMS Performance for doing that. They also always try their best to make really good clean kits, so shout out to them, but they wanted the most expensive end. Now, the second company, they came in within the last year, this is 2021, is Spool Performance. They also make their ethanol um, E80, E85 uh, flexible kit. Um, their flex fuel kit, I don't think works like works with in contribution with the Ecutech kit. I believe it just reads um, the ethanol content alone, and also you can add a, uh, a a micron filter. I believe is it a 10 micron? Yeah, 10 micron filter. Why is these filters uh, important? I don't know if the AMS kit gives you a filter. I don't remember seeing that included in their kit. Let me just take a quick look. I don't see a, uh, a, a, a filter included. Pretty much, what do people made this part? What is this micron filter, right? Um, the micron filter is just uh, the first line of defense of any car, or any uh, <coughs> debris or anything that might've gotten a fuel line that's headed towards the injectors. Remember, these are direct injection injectors, so they, the openings are super small, so anything super small can actually clog and pretty much stick an injector. So when you put this 10 micron filter, because there's really no fuel filter, it's just like 
it's, it's not really much of a big filter that's it's not even a filter that's in the um in the in the tank they'll just clean up the gasoline and make sure that you don't run into any issues any clogging okay but anyways um their schools for a flexible kit is about a uh, three four hundred dollars if you do want to add the micron filter um how much does that make it that makes it yeah it's four hundred dollars with the filter and it's three hundred dollars without so just the filter just the um excuse me just the monitor alone is three hundred dollars compared to AMS's, which is about five hundred. But understand, AMS's also works with your ECU and or EcuTech uh, tuning app and makes the switch over. So that's why it has a more expensive amount of money. All right. Um, and they're quick. Actually, I actually like how the spool performance kit looks. It looks really high quality. Just looking at it, staring at it. Um, we'll bring it to one of the last ones. This is of uh, the Fuel It kit. Now, Fuel It. I believe, honestly, came out with their kit right before AMS's kit. Um, what their kit does is the same thing all the other kits do. They also include a inline filter. I don't know if it's 10 micron. I don't see if it's a 10 micron filter here. I don't see that at all. Yes, it does. It does include a 10 micron filter. And that will bring it up to 520. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry, AMS. I apologize. The, flex, the fuel kit is actually more expensive with the filter without the filter it's going to be um 349 okay now their kit also looks really high quality and it also works with our contribution with the burger tuning jb4 yeah they actually bang with each other like that so you can actually have a jb4 and, and add a flex fuel kit for your um q50 q60 vr30 and i actually read it but it doesn't mean it would really make any changes it just allows you to be able to read it from the app itself um not really much else to add about it that's really just honestly it most of these kits will work they're not going to give you any issues they're very similar in design i believe that <clears throat> looking at some of their stuff i believe some of them just use the same factories and just give a different color to theirs but i digress but at the end of the day um you can go with any three of these kits it's just that do you want convenience um all three of them Oh, well, two of them give you an app that you can go through. The third, which is AMS, goes through the Ecutech app. Um, the AMS one doesn't include a micron filter, which I do not see here. I don't want to make the wrong judgment on them, but I don't see a micron filter included. So you're going to have to purchase that on your own. But they also give you the convenience of just switching over. But then if you're Ecutech tuned, you could just switch your map on the steering wheel. So is that really an added bonus? I'm just being honest. Um, and the other two ones have the app on the phone, but at 519, that's quite expensive. I mean, with the flat fuel it kit, it's quite expensive. I would honestly just rather go with the spool performance kit. It's about $400 with the inline filter, and you can do it. You can see it through an app. I think that's probably the best one, the best bang for its buck at this current moment. Now, for the people who made it to the end, um, shout out to AAM Performance, not AMS Performance, AAM Performance. They're going to be coming out with their Flex Fuel Kit really soon. It should be in June. So when that comes out, I'll let you guys know and give you guys information on that. I'm going to know everything because, you know, I bang with AAM Performance. So I'm going to give you guys all the information on that. And I believe a couple of other companies are going to be jumping in, making their uh, their E85 uh, Flex Fuel Kit soon. So just be on the lookout for those videos. But for right now, these in June of, of June 20 of 2021, these are the three flexible kits companies that you can go with. I know there's another kit out there, um, but I don't really bang with that tuner. I don't really care about him, but I know years ago he was one of the first people to make a flexible kit for this community too. But I think he don't get his homage as much as he should, but at the end of the day, there's another option out there. Someone's probably going to comment below the name of his company. Uh, definitely go check it out if you want to, but these are the kits that I recommend that I know and I know I just know they've been using the community for quite a while. Outside of that, guys, sorry for making this video so long. Um, you already know what to do. Add me at Boost Emotion IG, Facebook, Boost Emotion Gmail.com. Otherwise, than that, guys, the links will be below to all these companies. You guys, have a good day. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.